Well, I think we all learn by doing. It's hard for someone, I think, a student to sit in a classroom and just be told how things work. Um, but when you actually experience it yourself, then it becomes much more internalized. And, you, and student, you can see the light bulb go off sometimes when students run these simulations and they look at the data and then there's a certain aha moment that occurs that you know, you know it's finally real, they're really getting it. Uh, we use the Fly Lab in a Biology 101 introductory course for future teachers. And historically, um, in the labs, you would raise flies. And so you breed your flies and you have to wait a week and count the offspring. And so in the lab, you might have just one or two different traits that you might look at. Fly Lab was um, a tool that gave them access to hundreds of traits. And so uh, Students can set up crosses and get results immediately. They can run statistics on the results. Um, they can use two or more traits and see the combinatorial outcomes. So that was a really good use of our class time and a lot more efficient than actually raising flies and having flies fly around the biology department. <laughs> and, and the interesting thing is they spend a lot more time at tasks than they would do in a, in a traditional laboratory setting where again you know they're given a, a specified time period when they can be in the lab um, they can work on these simulations for at any hour of the day and as long as they'd like to to make sure that they get it right and so they become much more engaged in the process they put a lot more effort into it and I think they get a lot more out of it